Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to school and welcome to 2021. Happy New Year. I hope you all had a great winter break. I uh, hope you were all safe and, and enjoyed the holidays. Uh, I'm happy to be back and ready to get to work with uh, all your kids. So let's review a few things to get our year off. Our same old school year, but brand new uh, year year. So remember, going to Blooms is your one-stop place for everything uh, for science. Ms. Berg has a Blooms. Mr. Brennan for math. Uh, Ms. Berg for ELA Social Studies. We've got Miss Miss uh, Moriarty with library, uh, and of course our principal who gives us information about what's happening with the whole school and with the district. So you see, here's the library update. I've got my update uh, from before winter break. One of the biggest things that I did uh, right before we started winter break, which you can check now, is click on your child and you can see how close they are to being caught up uh, so that this week your child will know exactly what he or she needs to work on. Remember, if you can provide your child the space and time to work, leave the teaching of the concepts and, and the technology stuff to me. Kids know how to reach me on Classcraft by messaging me. They just go down here to the messaging and they can write me a message and I usually respond rather quickly unless I'm working with another student. Um, I also put out a link to uh, the week so you know what activities we're working on. So this is the list of assignments that are going to be due. I was hoping they'd be done before winter break, but since they're not, kids have more time to work on these. These are the assignments in science that students have been working on since November 16. So we've been working on those for a while. Um, other big thing is if you go to the Chimicum School District website, uh, you'll get updates here from our, our interim superintendent, Dr. Engel. I know he's monitoring how our state and specifically Jefferson County is doing. Uh, last we heard, the plan was to see if we could come back to a hybrid schedule, some face-to-face -face at the semester. And this semester ends January 29. It's the end of the month. So we got about three weeks to go. Uh, as you can see here, we're on week seven of this 10-week quarter. One thing I don't know if you know, if you click up here on my uh, website, it opens up all the previous uh, weekly updates with all the videos I've recorded. And I'll put this video in here once I'm there, once I'm done with it. Uh, but this way you can keep track of when assignments were uh, uh, given out to students so that if your kids tell you, oh, I didn't know about that one, you can say, well, look, it was uh, active on November 30th to December 4th. So it's just to help you and help your kid. Uh, one thing we're going to introduce at 845, at our 845 weekly Zoom meeting, uh, is remind kids, hey, you've got a schedule that we want you to follow. This is a really great schedule because it helps kids to break down their day, to have movement breaks, uh, so they're not sitting in front of a computer the entire day, but we really want them to spend some time on math, English language arts, and science, as well as PE and library and music uh, and, and working on passion projects, you know, things they love to do, and spending time with you, with, with their family. Uh, reminder that Wednesday we don't have the morning and afternoon Zooms, uh, so that's the only day they can work all day and just drop in for office hours, arrange to do a Google Meet with any of the sixth grade teachers. So one of the best things we need is for kids to be at every 8.45 to 9.15 uh, Zoom meeting. And please, 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 the 1.30 to 2.30 Zoom meetings, because if they miss one of those, like if they miss today, Monday, that's me, science and they won't get my science lesson again till next Monday. So please make sure your kids, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, 
both Zoom meetings. And that's it. Uh, let's have a great 2021. I can't wait till we get back face to face so we can get back to work in the classroom. But your kids can do a lot at home, and that's what I'm here to help them with.